Hello and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our tutorial for today, we're going to learn about the die event in Roblox. So here you can see I'm getting a point for every second that I'm in the game. When I grab the ball, I get a thousand points. And there's a little box here. If I hit the box, it's going to kill me. But you see when I die, I don't lose all my points. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the character humanoid died event to reset our points when the character dies. Oh. Alright, so now we're back in studio and what I have here is pretty much, uh, m most of it is from the previous lessons. Here I have the, the balls and each of those balls well, we call them pills, and each of those pills is going to give me a thousand points. And I have added a cube here, and I call it the kill box. And that kill box is going to kill me. It's going to use the break joints function to kill the player. And now, let's go to the script inside our service script service. So here, if you remember, we have the player added event where we, we built the uh, leaderboard here and we're giving the player one point for every second there in the game. Now the character humanoid died event has to be placed inside the character added event and the character added event has to be placed inside the player added event. So here I have the player added event. I'm going to insert the character added event right in the middle of here. So right after I built my leaderboard, I'm going to insert the character added event. To do the character ad added event, I'm going to say player dot character added colon connect to a function. And remember the character parameter is automatically passed in. And now I'm going to insert my die event. So I'm going to first declare a local variable, local humanoid equals to character. I'm going to do colon, wait for child, because I want to wait for the humanoid object to load. So wait for child humanoid. And once the humanoid is loaded, I can use the humanoid to insert the die event. So I can say humanoid dot die colon connect to a function. And inside my function, I'm just going to reset this points back to zero. Alright, so let's do a quick recap. Here I have inserted a character added event. So whenever a character is added to the game, it's going to trigger this function. And this function is going to wait for the humanoid inside the character be, to be loaded. And then it's going to insert this humanoid died event. So this event is just going to sit there and wait and listen for when the character dies then it's going to reset the points of the character back to zero. Let's now play and take a look. So as you can see, my leaderboard points is going up by one point for every second I'm in the game. If I grab a ball, I get a thousand points. But now if I hit the box, it would kill me. And look at my points, it's reset back to zero and it starts to go back up again by one point for every second that I'm in the game. Let's take a look one more time. So I'm gonna grab all these balls. I got 2,000, 3,000 points and here we go. Ooh. I'm dead and it's back to zero. Alright, so that's how you reset your points when the character dies and that's how you use the character died event in Roblox.